Allergy season is still here, but you may soon feel some relief. But the question tonight is, did you inherit those allergies from your parents? Our Verify team takes a look. We can pin responsibilities on our parents for a lot of things, but can we blame them for our sneezing, wheezing and allergic reactions? The question, are your allergies largely inherited? Let's verify. Our source is Dr. Alec Gupta, allergist with Atrium Health, the American College of Allergy, Asthma and Immunology and the Mayo Clinic. The Mayo Clinic explains when you have allergies, what's happening is this. Your immune system makes antibodies that identify an allergen as harmful when it isn't. Your immune system then reacts, activating inflammation of the skin, sinuses, airways, or digestive system. And those allergies are often passed down from parents to children, according to the American College of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology. Food allergies, seasonal allergies, asthma, some forms of asthma, eczema, they all fall under this kind of category. If your parents had one of those things, then yeah, the risk is that your child could be more uh, genetically susceptible to developing one of those other things. Dr. Gupta says the risk of having an allergy increases when one or both parents have one. However, that doesn't mean their children will have the exact same allergy. Even if both parents had the shrimp allergy, doesn't necessarily mean that you're at a higher risk of having a shrimp allergy. You could have a higher risk of having eczema. Dr. Gupta says it also doesn't mean these inherited allergies will always show up. Uh, or if your parents had that genetic, not necessarily dysfunction, but just kind of change, then you have that genetic change. It doesn't always show up. So we can verify that, yes, susceptibility to allergies is largely inherited. However, that doesn't mean you will display the exact same allergic reactions as your parents do. With your Verify, I'm Megan Brad.